Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 10 gallon quarantine tank. And here we go again, it is looking like a community tank. And perhaps an overstocked community tank. It is well beyond an inch of fish per gallon. But this is temporary. Um, they are all together in this tank to serve a, a purpose to go through quarantine process before moving to their intended permanent homes in various community tanks that I have as I'm continue to stock my community tanks. And while I'm in the quarantine process with all these fish together, I thought I'd pose the question, how many fish can you keep in a quarantine tank or how many fish can you quarantine together at a time? And in this example, there's 40. It's about 40 fish in here. Um, this is a 10 gallon tank and they are, all these fish are, are mostly small. So this would be, even for me, like on the higher end of how many fish together. But for one thing, there are small fish like tetras. There's these glow light tetras, green fire tetras, and then I mean, there's a couple of roseline sharks in here, but those are still small. They're the biggest fish in here, but they are still small. They have a lot. They'll be growing a lot more. And the panagaras, those are tiny. Those are going to continue to grow. Really, the only fish in here, like the guppies, are full size, but full-size guppies are small and platties. So you also have like Odessa barbs, those are going to grow some more. You have like the Julie Corridors, those are will grow a little bit more but they are you know small as they are and even as they grow bigger they, they still won't be that big. The Crebensis, these are quite small they'll grow more but yeah so as it is though they're either small fish or the other fish are small as they are not full grown so that allows to keep as many you know like 40 fish like this but then so how many fish can you keep together about 40 like this in, or how many species. In this case there's at least 10 species in here and probably the most important might be from how many sources. I mean you might think just from one source to keep them all together. and That might be better but because if you get fish from multiple sources they can if something there's some sort of ailment or something can contaminate the others um, but in here I have some of these fish I got from a Petco about two weeks ago and others from a Pet Smart about three weeks ago. And I still have some fish in here like the Siamese Algae Eaters. I got those from Aquatic Arts. That was an online source. The second time I ever bought fish online to have shipped to me. Yeah, so they are all from multiple sources. But I figure I do it this way because if I get a chance, I got mostly stocked with the PetSmart fish and then I got a chance to just stop by a Petco and I couldn't pass up getting the Odessa barbs and the Crebensis that I've been wanting. So just put them in here with these and doing that, it, part of the quarantining is observation. So everything looked good so I wasn't concerned like if there was ever anything where fish just didn't look good I mean for one thing I wouldn't buy them so I wouldn't take that risk with the exception of ordering online you're not gonna really see them but um, I, before the other fish were added I still had some Siamese algae eaters in here that were healthy and were already gone through the quarantine process I just left them in here but yeah so 
all the quarantine, all the fish will go through the quarantine process, which for me includes being treated with General Cure, Marison, and Ickex. So even if something, you know, say for, and this has happened to me before, I got, I had fish already in the quarantine tank and I got some Rumino's Tetras from a Petco. And then they looked fine at first, but then after a day or two in the quarantine tank, I noticed they had ick. So whatever fish I had in here already that weren't, didn't have ick, they were now exposed to ick. But it was early enough that I was able to treat the tank and treat them all together before that ick spread to any other fish and none of them had it and they've since been moved on to my their permanent homes and quarantine tanks and they've you know it's been many months and they're they're all looking good as it is so yeah this is what works for me again there is that risk of combining fish from different sources but I would do that in the quarantine tank before adding to any main tanks Yeah, so we have a lot of good looking fish in here. So the the plan is the two Roseline sharks in here are gonna go in my 84 gallon community tank. I already have some Roseline sharks in there. The Julii Corridors, those are gonna go in my 40 gallon community tanks that has um, three Julii Corridors in it. Yeah, so that'll bring the group to six. The glow light tetras are going to go in my 84 gallon, where the, I have other glow light tetras. The crebensis are going to go in the 84 gallon, as well as the Odessa barbs. A couple of the panagars will go in there, and a couple will go in a 40 gallon. I have two, I have groups of those in two different tanks. And the green fire tetras are going to go in another 40 gallon that has group in there, so add to that group the platies, this blue wag platy and the gold twin bar platy, those are going to go in the same 40 gallon with the Julii corridors and the guppies will go in another same 40 gallon with the green fire tetras and I'm probably going to take one to do a um, select breeding with the most fancy guppy that I have, that these are, these, and breed them with a wild common feeder guppy, and just see what kind of funky colors they can do. But yeah, and then there's this, this tank, this fish has been in this tank for a long time, that's going to be the permanent resident of the quarantine tank as other fish come and go, it's just going to stay in here, it's their Red Eye Tetra or Lamp Eye Tetra. I never intended to buy that. That just one of the times when I got some fish from a Petco that was accidentally scooped up, bagged up with the other fish that I got then. Siamese algae eaters. Siamese algae eaters. I'll keep one of them in here probably and then move some to different tanks. And we have, here is the Batic Batic Narrate Snail. I got that from Aquatic Arts. And got some mystery snails in here. I bought these from my LFS, my local fish store, when they were really tiny, so they have grown while they've been in here. I'm gonna probably move those to Yep, and that other one just falling. Move those to one of my 20 gallons. But yeah, so a lot is going to be coming up. I'm about to do a water change and then start treating them with this. They've all been here for almost two weeks now at, the, at a minimum, and they're all looking good. I think the only thing I did lose one of the green fire tetras, but all the other fish are looking nice and healthy. So. Give it 
start treating them with this after water change. Give it about a week. Um, I might, at a, at a minimum, to marinate in the medications. And then I can start moving them to their new homes and complete some of the stocking of my community tanks. So definitely stay tuned for that as that's coming up because those are some cool community tanks. All right, well that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.